Uh, so this past week, we got um, Mario. Mario came to the island. We had an update. I think it was like February 26th or something. And we had um, the update. But the sneaky thing was, is like Mario didn't actually show up until <gasps> March 1st. Did Mario big league everybody? <laughs> no. Uh, there, were, there were comments online saying that that's how they usually do things. They have time to test and make sure that things are working on, you know, have people, people tested and such. But um, very disappointed. Mar Mario did not show up till March 1st. <laughs> um, but, uh, but I want to talk about that a little bit later because I've got some tips on how to actually enjoy the Mario being on your island. Mm -hmm. uh, but my big thing coming up next is Hello Kitty is in a San we got a Sanrio crossover happening on Animal Crossing. Yes. Yeah. We got uh, not just Hello Kitty, it's like Karapi, there's a whole uh, melody, there's a whole gaggle of Sanrio character items coming to Animal Crossing. And um, it doesn't start, it's, it's weird because it's the amiibo kind of cards, if you've ever seen those from Animal Crossing. And uh, they'll be at Target, and it's five ninety nine mm. for a pack of cards. But then you get to buy these new neighbors that have Hello Kitty items. <laughs> yeah, I just saw the Hello Kitty app. Uh, I'm sorry, hat on the uh, on the video here. Yeah, it's super super cute. Like there's a lot of cute um, furniture items, and you know hats and clothes, and because who doesn't want to be a little Hello Kitty? That's awesome. So like, there's no Hello Kitty. It, it, it's Hello Kitty items. It's not like the the Mario that's uh, uh supposed to come in right? No, no. So, uh, well, it's the same thing with the Mario coming to the island though too, because it's just dress up and oh okay um items too. So yeah, similar thing. Kind of get to play in both worlds. So, um, so I, I'm noticing. So you mentioned the cards, and they're they're marked as amiibo. Um, I mm -hmm. thought amiibos were more or less done with Nintendo. Am I wrong with that? <laughs> Oh no, there's still the a thing. Oh, okay. And these are the statues, kind of like the, like the Disney um, Disney Infinity was this, where it's like you get the little little toy statues. They have like an RFID chip, and they'll unlock mm -hmm. stuff in video games, basically, right? So that's, yeah. that's basically what's happening here. But they're not that, but they're cards. Like so, they're amiibo cards. Mm-hmm. Yep, they're like little guys, they're cute little. They're actually pretty cute looking cards too. Mm -hmm. And um, but that's how you get these uh, new Islanders. I'm assuming we're gonna have to at some point wait till a neighbor moves out before we'll be able to move in one of these characters, which is kind of... <laughs> Nintendo has thrown a couple caveats with these last couple hmm. fun adventures they've added. So it's a little bit like, I want to do it now, but you're like, oh, i got to wait a little bit. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so wait, so is it is it you could only have so many neighbors, or...? Yeah, okay. you have 10 neighbors at a time on your island, and uh, yeah, but it looks like it's going to be one of those things where you have to wait for somebody okay. to move out, and then you can move in one of these fun new friends and of your choosing with your... Uh, Amiibo cards, and I guess over time, hopefully, everybody moves <laughs> more neighbors, and you get more friends. I wonder, I wonder if you can scan an, a card more than once, because you can scan the amiibos more than once. Really? Because um, I, I have a certain little niece that will also need to partake in these cards. <laughs> you'll, tr you'll try out because so I, like the last one, I have two, so I have the Link and um, Metroid. But the the Link one, if you scanned it inside of Link's Awakening, you got to unlock some additional stuff. And then back in the original Zelda, and also in, what was it? One of the games, you could unlock additional characters. So th they do let you unlock some stuff, too. Awesome. I think, like I said, I, I know you can scan the Zelda on multiple devices. We have a, a, Amiibo sharing parties. Because they're, yes. they're probably not unique. It's probably just, here's a Zelda, and they, they all have the same code, right? Mm, I would I, imagine. I guess, I so I, 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 you know, I would imagine. So we'll see. Or maybe it's like you can only scan so many times or something crazy like that. So I don't know. Otherwise, it, it kills the resale value. But I guess, <laughs> I guess games have been doing that with codes for a while. Chilla, what is your awesome thing of the week?